Okay, so I don't remember where I left off because the game crashed as I was doing whatever I was doing. What was I doing and how much progress did I lose? Because I feel like I've lost a fair bit of it. I have my tool, I have some metal salvage. It appears to be the case that I don't have my uh, floater, my, my little tool chest floater. I'm betting that this game has zilch for an autosave system and I lost like 20 minutes of progress. I would not be surprised if that's the case because my save said I'd only been playing for 20 minutes, so that sucks. It sucks a lot. So I'll just need to remember to save my own every once in a while, which is fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the scrap metal that it's, that's uh, sitting around my base. There's probably not very much that's around here per se, but like there's a piece over here. I'm going to get all the scrap metal and I'm going to just turn it into titanium and get my little treasure chest back up and running again. Actually, before I get too deep, I'm also going to grab this fish by the bladder and get some fresh water going on. Because I only have 21. I only have 21 before my before my water turns all into pee or whatever ends up happening. <laughs> God, I'm just grabbing this fish by the face. It's like, you're coming with me! <laughs> That's how I met Ladybird. Okay, let's go up into here and turn these uh, bladder fishes into bottles of water. And, okay, sustenance, water, filtered water. Multiplayer in Subnautica would be awesome. When I found out that it didn't have Subnautica, the game instantly became a no-buy for me. Uh, you know, it, it, it just, it's such a missed opportunity for these developers. And I, I mean, I can understand that it's hard to make multiplayer stuff, but they're really, really, like, uh, ruining a humongous market that they could potentially be tapping into by not making this a multiplayer game. I am I am baffled that they don't think that they can do it, and I don't know why they don't think they can do it. You know, it's not, it's not impossible. It would take a lot of work for them, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm mostly speaking out of hurt, because I want to. I want to play with my boy Wander. It's fine. He doesn't want to play with me anymore. Anyway, let's go over here and pop my my locker. Come on. There it is. Okay. And now I'm gonna go back to hunting for. Let's see. Oh, I want to pick up the the knife again so let's go over to the to the creep vines and just quickly uh get a bunch of creep vine seed all up like on me which I'm, I'm sure they're okay with that really i'm sure they're fine with it and we'll use that to get uh the get the get the knife so that if i run into any big spooky aliens or whatever the hell it is that's gonna end up killing me in this world, like turbo sharks or whatever. I'll at least be ready for it. Um, but yeah, I don't really remember what else I lost. Let me, when I get back into this thing, see what's in my inventory, because I should have, I, I should have the radiation suit, I do. Uh, I have a signal. Oh, okay, that's interesting. You can equip signals and use that to find treasure chests or stuff like that. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I want to get the flippers, probably. That seems like a reasonable goal to strive towards. But for now, let's go ahead and convert these resources. Okay, here's something that's bothering me about the UI. I think to myself that this is a slice of cheese every time I see it. And I'm like, oh, that's where you make food. And then I see the sustenance tab underneath it. And I realize that's where I make food. But, but that's a... That's clearly cheese, right? Well, fine, whatever. Let's do the silicon here. I need to check how many I need to make. Personal tools, survival knife. Okay, so I just needed the one. I'm still gonna process the other creep vine seeds because they take up a lot of inventory space. 
And that's pretty much all they're useful for. Bunch of titanium, bunch of quartz. We'll go ahead and check if I need quartz for any tools here. I probably don't. I'm probably just supposed to turn the quartz into the glass material. I'll, I'll convert like 90% of it. I'll keep like one or two little quartzies around just because I don't know if I'm going to need it in its raw form at some point or another. Uh, never mind. I used up all of it. <laughs> ah, right. It was titanium that I had a lot of. Well, let's let's make a couple of ingots. Oh, that requires titanium ore X10. Oh. Okay. Well, whatever. Let's see. I can make flippers. I need to get a bunch of silicone. I only have half of what I need. And for titanium, I assume I just need that for basically everything at this point. Uh, yeah, we really need to be moving towards advanced materials because I need to get electronics. Which I guess this doesn't run advanced materials, huh? Yeah, for electronics, I just need to find acid mushrooms. <laughs> uh, gonna get high. And uh, copper ore. Which... Copper ore! I don't know where I'm gonna find that. It looks like I don't really need anything other than my bare damn hands to get it. I guess I... Yeah, I don't know. Mushrooms, they don't grow underwater, do they? I can't imagine that they would. So, I guess that's... out of the question. I guess I need to find land if I want to get any mushrooms and get any drugs. Alright. So, for now, we're gonna go... Pop some of these uh, process materials into here. Oh. Huh. Yeah, okay. Let's uh, let's go ahead and use this thing. Alright, I accidentally picked it up as opposed to using it. Because I... How do I open it? Hit it locker label, right? That's pretty annoying. There we are. Okay, so if I'm to the side of it, I can't... I can't... Um, I pick it up as opposed to just interacting with it. That's pretty strange. I, I mean, it's it's actually not that big of a deal. It's 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 minorly inconvenient. Therefore, I hate it for forever. Okay, let's save because it's been a little while and this game's a little bit crash happy. And I'm gonna head back over to the silicone, uh, the creep vine seeds, to get the other silicone, so that I can make the flippers. So that when I tap the space bar, oh. Is that a nighttime fishies? Mine, 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 mine. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought I'd get it. Uh, whatever, I'll pick up this quartz. And uh, let's pop up and get some oxygen real fast. I wonder... Okay, so this game has, like, radioactivity and bacteria in the water and stuff like that. I wonder if there's, like, some sort of... I want you. I want this thing. But I also want the game to... Uh, load! Come on, damn it, there we are. Alright, so I have a hover fish. I don't see it doing a whole lot of hovering. Yeah, let's... Wow! The lag is so... Freaking real right now. This is insane. Come on. There we go. Anyway, as I was saying, I don't see this hoverfish doing a lot of hovering. But oh. The hell was that? Whatever it was, I don't want to have anything to do with it, because that was um a little intense. It was like a gigantic space whale was coming to kill me. Good god, is there like a setting I'm supposed to turn on or something to get it to stop doing this shit? Because that is getting really old. Wow! Yes, come on game, thank you. Jeez. Maybe this is a game you just have to install it in an SSD or something to have it load. Is it just me or is that moon big as hell? I feel like it's gonna fall on me at any second. <laughs> It's like a Majora's Mask situation. Okay, seriously though, if the if you're on a planet and the moon is that big, that means that that, plan that moon is crashing into you. There's no way you can be that close to something. All right, so I can I can turn the hoverfish into a cooked hoverfish. So that's 
that works. Can I... Oh, interesting. So I can disinfect the water with bleach as well. Oh, okay, so that kind of makes sense. There's a fix for that lag, just delete cache files from your saves. Uh, that doesn't... How? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't deleting the caches increase the amount of time that would take to load things? Alright, uh, I need to make some silicone. And now I should have enough to make the flippers. We'll go down over here to tools, or where is it? Equipment. I can make fins. We'll pick those up and put them in my inventory. And... Uh, never mind, they're already in there. So if I just hit the space bar when I'm underwater, I will... I will uh, have forward thrust, apparently. Cool. Anything else to really do here? Uh, I'm going to convert the remainder of my... Uh, of my rubber here into uh or creep seed into rubber and then go back outside and pop all that crap into the locker uh and then I guess my main goals are gonna be seeing if I can find acid mushrooms or or um copper so we'll do a quick save again and I'm gonna... Oh, uh, purple says to do O2 tanks. Let's see what O2 tanks require in terms of raw materials. I assume that they're just used kind of in an emergency situation. Like, if you're about to drown, you just pop an O2 tank and then you feel fine. So we need uh, glass and titanium. I believe I have all of the resources required for that already. So that's not a problem. Uh, they're just outside in the locker, so I should be able to just put one on. Okay, we'll go over here to uh, open storage. And where is the glass? So we have two units of glass and one titanium, and I think that's what they call the recipe called for. To the fabricator. There we are. O2 tank. I thought to myself I would grab the uh, extra titanium to just to hedge my bets because I figured I probably won't remember that. And I ended up being wrong in the end. It was actually two of the titanium and one of glass. So I thought ahead very slightly and managed to be very, very slightly efficient. So that makes me happy. Okay, good. That uh, was just a piece of equipment. So I've effectively doubled my my O2. Con it's not double, but it's it's well, it's a lot better than it used to be, and that's the important thing. All right, I need to unrelieve my bladder. I need to. I mean, yeah, it's close enough to being the joke. Let's get catch a bunch more bladder fishies. I need to get bleach because I think that if I have the bleached version of the of the of the water that will be better would be my guess I wonder though I'm catching all these bladder fish one thing that's been in the back of my mind is I wonder if this game simulates overfishing like if you collect all the fish in a certain area can you wind up not being able to find those fish in that area anymore it would be a pretty awesome game if it did that in some sense However, it would also be a really annoying game if it did that. <laughs> so let's do... Let's just make as many filtered waters as I can because uh, I'm going to need them for a while. And I, as far as I can tell, filtered water doesn't ever really go bad. Oh my god. I'm drinking fish pee. Vital signs stabilizing. Huh. Well, that would explain why it's got a bunch of bacteria in it. 